This is Andre Hodge, aka Trace Studios, illustrator, Nubby Sketch Card Artist, and overall weirdo. And hey, you're listening to the Marvel Card Collectors Podcast. <laughs> Aren't you a lucky devil? Hello, everybody. My name is the Count Ian Taylor of the Castle Marvel Card Collectors Podcast, brought to you by the Fiendish Marvel Cards Fan Collective, a devilish community of card collectors and creators. You can find our two groups on the Book of Face Blood, or by sacrificing kittens at the Zuckerberg tomb. Instructions to do this are at the end of this podcast. With me is my undead traveler in all things Marvel cards. He popped in for a quick bite, and it was a bloody, bloody mess. It's Lord Norrin of Radistein Towers. (laughs) Oh, Ian, I'm so happy to be here. I think we should, I think we should start the podcast. What do you think? I I want to suck the cards. I do. I want to count the cards. Count One. the cards. <laughs> do. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> you were born in the wrong era. You and I belong in broadcasting and radio, sir. My goodness me. I had a try. I had a go at it. You did really well. I did. I was, I, no, you motivated no, me. As, as in, I studied performing arts. I, I mean, I literally oh, had right. a try. Oh, yeah, yeah, a go yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, it didn't take. The life of an actor is not for me, dear. I like to have money in my pocket. Um, See, and that's not very have to fair. wait tables and wash up dishes for a living. So I'm just going yeah. to... After that, after that um, opening, I think I should probably say to everyone that this is the Marvel Card Collectors podcast. You haven't tuned you into the wrong... In the right place. You're in the right place. Um, yes. And it's the Halloween episode, just in case. It's the Halloween episode. Just in case anyone didn't get it. Just um, in case. And I did survive the last episode. I am officially a zombie. He's here. He's ready I'm to here. eat some brains. I am alive, although I am going to have a sip of tea just to make sure that my throat okay. after, it's that, tea. after that opening. It is tea, yeah. Mm. Sure. Okay. Mm. If it was coffee, I probably would have put a, a jolt of whiskey in, but it doesn't work with tea. I've tried it. It, it doesn't. I was talking more about dead bodies, but oh, we can okay. alcohol. I'm okay with that. That's fine. Well, you know, it's whiskey made from the fermented blood of small rodents. See, there we go. Keeping on topic. I yeah, love it. On, yeah, keep on small rodents. Small rodents. Small rodents. <laughs> <laughs> they may or may not. No, I'm not going to finish that sentence, actually. <laughs> Man. <laughs> so the opening of this episode is good old double dip. Andre Ausch. Yeah. <laughs> Weeks before this Halloween episode was even on our radar, sent two artist intros in, one in his regular voice and one in his uh, mirror universe, Andre, I like to refer to him. So, so Andre gets to, gets, gets to be the opener of the show two weeks in a row um, with that rather crazy slice of audio gold. Mm-hmm. at the top of this podcast so um it's only fair considering he did too that we give him another shout out so um, um you lucky werewolf i know all you cats at home um or in your castles or um on your altars you may um sacrifice um at um dre studios on instagram or dre studios.com i believe is his website i think um, it is it is i know this because i was posting the um links earlier this morning on instagram and twitter from the um last episode which actually dropped right. yesterday as we record which Perfect. Just made me go cross-eyed just saying all that um yeah now everyone's going to be really confused they it's are also a time traveling episode no it well it it happens but um <laughs> it, you'd be amazed um what i love about this episode is we found a, a website full of halloween noises um, there's all sorts of things in here, um, a, a number of which we haven't tried. Um, there's one here called Hell. That's going to be fire and brimstone. Let's do it. Let's do it. A 
and that's enough of that. <laughs> hmm? Sounds like Miami. It does. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to take your word for that. Yeah. Um, there's one Godzilla, Godzilla walking. I don't know if we've got... I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more, and then we'll move do, on. Do, do it. It's going to be Godzilla walking. Sounds like it's pretty Godzilla good. Talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, the good. anticipation reminds me of uh, uh, <laughs> Marvel Epax. Like I'm just waiting <laughs> for something to be released. <laughs> All oh, the anticipation. Dear. All this bagly with. There's a lot of good stuff on here, man. It's pretty good. It is. It's quite a funky little. Um, quite a funky little. Um, <laughs> Sight. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna yeah. push this button. Please. <laughs> People are going to be like they're, taking their headphones off their heads. They're going to be like, that's the last time I listen to this show. Yeah, exactly. I think we probably lost a few people last week, to be fair. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. We have a voicemail before we go any further. We have a voicemail. Voicemail. Um, which, which will segue nicely into the mailbag. Um, this is from Kevin number two. Um, I eat cards on Instagram and on Scoundrel back in the day. Yeah. Uh, sent us this rather lovely uh, little message, which fits nicely in with the Halloween theme and the slightly <laughs> distorted reality that is happening in your ears right now. This is Kevin number two of two, limited edition. You're listening to Collecting of the Marvel Traders Cards radio station with Be Ale and No Ryan Raid. Thanks for watching and enjoy the show. <laughs> I love it so much. Hashtag nail it. Oh, it's the uh, best. Isn't that, that cracks me up. That's, That's great. Made me laugh when I heard that. I That's it. awesome. So, um, so there you go. That's that oh one. man, uh, Halloween That's Halloween really fun. For that, Kevin. Number that was awesome, Kevin. Very cool. <laughs> um, so, um, and I wanted to read out a couple of other things. Uh, let me just quickly uh, find them because we had a rather nice um, bit of feedback on Apple, on the Apple Podcasts uh, feed, if I can actually find it. And all the windows I have open on my computer have got a ridiculous, ridiculous number of windows open. I've got no idea what's going on. I don't know if it's Tuesday or Abergavenny, as the saying goes. Um, but you, have, you haven't got a clue what I mean, do you? Have you ever heard that expression? I feel like every time I listen to you, I learn something new. I've never heard that expression ever. Well, have you heard of Abergavenny? No. Abergavenny is a town in Wales. And all, oh, all, no. Yeah, I heard, that. I heard about it last week. week. Yeah. From a very, very good friend. No, man. I have no idea what the hell that is. <laughs> How timely. <laughs> oh, funny enough, I was just having a conversation about Welsh towns last week. Funny enough, it just yeah. happened. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> So, I got chatting on um, EPAX is my new way to recruit new, ac new um, acolytes, I think is probably the best way, um, to the cause. So, whenever I'm doing a trade with people on EPAX, I always tell them, if, I, if, if we get chatting, yeah. about the uh, podcast. Huh. And I think it's kind of a nice way to do it. So, uh, yeah, I might leave a comment in the notes when you do a trade. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. if we've got a message thread going. Um, and interestingly, a lot of the guys on here, which actually applies to Kevin too, don't have Facebook. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this user um, is on Epax as riddles underscore in the dark. So there's an, riddles in the dark with an underscore between each word. Oh, I don't um, know this. yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know, know the person, person, but I've, I've traded with them. I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, nice, nice guy. Yeah, and yeah. He, sure. um, he said to um, he said he he check it out. Um, he actually he actually reached out to me. Sorry, I'm getting this wrong way around. His first message was, um, "Hello, Ian. Just wanted to drop your lines, uh, drop you a line to say I really enjoy the podcast. Oh. Entertaining and informative. I'm new to Marvel cards and I'm following your advice from Cards 101 to browse and see what I like. No way. And I thought well, that's really cool. So you know, mission accomplished. We can go home. You know. So, wow, that's really cool. Someone's kind of uh, uh, dived in. Um, so far, I like the look of 2019 Flair and also like the character She-Hulk. Um, so then he asked me a little bit of pricing advice on Flair. Um, 
the uh, Flare 2019 um, yeah. Stein Dorse graph. Just like, checking out prices about that, and I gave him a little bit of advice on that. So I'm going backwards and forwards with this fella on EPAX, and mm -hmm. then the, it kind of ends with him telling me that he doesn't have Facebook. Um, and he said he, you know, he might, um, he might get a pseudonym account to join oh. Facebook. So he says, if you see Dr. Bruce Banner join your group, you'll know who it is. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's cool. so cool. Uh, but he did say he'd leave us a review. Um, and so then I, um, I had a look on Apple and um, that very day we had a review on um, Apple podcasts from a fella named john weston so i'm only assuming that's what? him which um as we're sharing screen you can read for yourself but i'll read it out loud as well um i'm new to marvel card collecting and this podcast has been an excellent gateway to learn about the hobby ian and norin are both entertaining and knowledgeable oh gee shucks um, and just come across as good dudes they keep things fresh with a balance of news advice and guests highly recommended podcast actually makes me look forward to my commute keep up the great work enjoy collecting what bonus this is so nice so riddles in the dark um thank you very much if that was indeed your review under the name john weston on apple Podcasts. um when i found the apple podcast reviews i actually found some older ones that we hadn't read out so i thought let's read them out now um oh. so someone back at the end of august called rules of eternity yeah yeah yeah, yeah um like a marvelously spooky handle <laughs> rules of eternity rules of eternity says fun and addictive if you like marvel stuff you will love this podcast ian and norris norris norris, <laughs> you norris. i like it <laughs> there is um actually someone in english entertainment i think he's died now there was an entertainer a presenter called norris mcwerter oh that's a good name norris mcwerter <laughs> what a fabulous name that is that's a great name yeah, I like to rec resurrect old um, popular culture things from the UK for the benefit yeah. of our global audience. So last week, of course, it was lovely, milky, milky. Haunting my dreams now, speaking a, of Halloween. A, a picture of which has gone on the um, Instagram today. Has it really? Of course it has. It. <laughs> no, I have it. Of course it has. Um, I also found a video link which went in the tasting notes for the last episode. Oh really? <laughs> so yeah, seriously, mate. You need to go. Uh, that's <laughs> awesome. Go watch that. I just, I've, yeah, it's so early. I haven't done any of my morning checks. Or yeah, like exactly, that. exactly. Uh, uh, Ian and Norris are the best. Norris, I'm so going to call you Norris from now on. Please, I'm in. Um, it's, uh, you can call me Susan if you like. Aww. Are the best things <laughs> <laughs> to happen for the card collecting hobby. They have created a wonderful community for niche collectors like myself, and this podcast is like icing on a cake. Great topics, all Marvel, highly recommended. Oh, that's really nice. That's and then, of really, course, really nice. Um, Andy Talaga, who's in the group, um, great guy. Um, oh yeah, review. Um, great podcast. This podcast is great, entertaining, and informative about collecting Marvel trading cards. Thanks. So oh. I can imagine the next review will be Ian and Norin just like to blow smoke up their own backsides and read right. out reviews of themselves. So which is perfectly fair. I mean, that's what we've been shooting for this whole time. It's so kind of it know where all this positivity is coming from it's a whole it's a vanity project yeah I say, you know obviously uh, i mean i listen to this at least five four times a day <laughs> to, to be fair that's probably true when the process probably, yeah, editing yeah, and yeah. getting it online so, <laughs> um, I, yeah. I have to listen to each episode at least twice yeah yeah well, yeah we do which is um, which is good anyway yeah so we will go back to <laughs> The Halloween nature of the, the episode. Halloween. <laughs> Halloween. Oh dear. So I'm. Um, I have a list of things I wanted to talk about, and I think we've got through all of them. So this isn't Halloween related, but I'm going to kick off with it because we touched on. We we're talking about EPACs just now. Flare, 2019. Yeah. When? I don't know. I I think it oh, has to be. Off. It's going to be November. Be it's, it's going to be November. Well, it's got to be like, before premiere. It has to be, right? I, I wonder because if they're going to group a clear them. month, six weeks physically. Well, before. we did see that people got their premiere EPAC sketches mm. and they are finishing them up or turning them in. Yeah, wave two. Um, wave I two. I can't remember who. Was it Dominic Racho? 
posted his pencils yep. for his wave two uh, on the um on the group, which which yep. looked absolutely awesome. Yeah, it really um, does. I have to say, I'm I quite. <laughs> They were so cool. If I pulled one of them as black and white, I'd be perfectly happy with it. I like black and white sketches a so lot nice. more. They yeah, they're so really cool. nice. Like um, I liked, I like uh, Toma's black and white sketches. Yeah, yeah. Like those are awesome. Like I have a color one, and I was on the verge of being like, you know, what? just keep it, keep it ink, keep mm. it black and white. Mm. But um, I love the black and white sketches a lot. I think they're super underrated. Yeah, I think the guidelines for the cards now say that have to be color, but I've got oh. some absolutely incredible mike s miller um ink that cat which i think you've seen i'm, I'm pretty certain you've seen i think them. i have that I sounds really I good them. and they are just they're just so clean i like the clean lines the clean um, lines get me man i love I also, that i also have a colored one by him from marvel oh. premiere um and it's it's absolutely gorgeous because his artwork is superb yeah but the black and white one's slightly pippin for me well, see, that's what I like about Marvel Masterpieces um, 07, 08. Yeah. Like, the, they're just, like, some of... You, you get black and white ones in there, and they're just Dude. absolutely cool and gorgeous and sketchy. And my whole thing with sketch cards is the kind of sketchy thing. Like, I know yeah. a lot of people are, like, acrylics and paint and all that kind of stuff. As finished that's as not, it can be, kind of. No, I, I'm, I'm more about the actual sketch process. I like seeing mm -hmm. all the intricacies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is a marvelous... Segway. 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 Um, now, we will, I will say at this point, listeners, listeners far and wide, get yourselves to the social media feeds of either the Facebook page, which is probably the best place to go. Right. I believe you can look at the post of a Facebook page about whatever it is, be it a business or a podcast or whatever. I don't think you need Facebook membership to do that. So if you're listening, oh, that's great. I'm pretty certain because I because I often look at the um, Marvel Card Collectors podcast Facebook page for a browser Without being logged in. into Facebook. <laughs> yeah, I oh, know it's that exciting, isn't it, Norin? Yeah. Oh, my Yanni. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I could see what you had for lunch yesterday. You then. have no idea. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, uh, it's so cold over here in my office. So it just it just hit me. I'm not actually. You are you are going to need a blanket and some. I got really it? cold really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be yeah, the so that's awesome. That'll be that's the awesome. You have to be logged in because you know speaking to other people. I mean, especially if people are not on the Facebook group. I I'm not a huge fan either of the whole social media mm -hmm. thing, but it is really nice to be on that page because we do get to see all the wonderful images that Ian yeah. spends yeah. his time kindly all the things i bring up <laughs> it is, and force um, him to put it down the testy notes <laughs> so this episode i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you now i'm gonna start doing the tasting it'll drop on thursday which is halloween we're recording on saturday right. i'll be starting the tasting notes images on monday solid because it's going to take me a few days to get them all together yeah, yeah. to label them um and then i've got to have them in um a format that works on instagram as well yeah um so there's that so anyway Facebook is the best place to go to do this, but all the images that we're about to talk about, all the horrific images that we're about to experience <laughs> and enjoy and endure, um, because it is a Halloween-themed episode, Yep. Um, I will put on the Facebook page first and foremost, and then they will come to Twitter and Instagram, um, time in the day, <laughs> depending. But all of those are at the MCC pod. So on Twitter at the MCC pod, on Instagram at the MCC pod, and then on Facebook it is, he says, struggling to find it. I can't find it. I, I really can't. Find it, Ian. <laughs> oh, master, I can't find master. the Facebook page. Where, oh, where is it? <laughs> it's where you left it, you fool. You've done so many voices. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I love it. Um, anyway, um, it is <laughs> facebook.com forward slash the MCC pod is our page. So um, go check it out. Anywho, so when I dropped the episode before this, Ian dies at the end, episode 20. Um, so I am. I am. A zombie in this episode. Oh. 
No! I am the undead. Um, I did say... <laughs> I'm absolutely loving this. <laughs> better. Um, I actually did say, very, very short notice for people, because that was only yesterday. Please submit horror-themed, Halloween-themed, yes. or just awkward situation stroke reality themed and there's a few on that spectrum that are a touch disturbing um images yeah. and so i thought um you know what let's have a look at some so we'll go through these in order i'm going to start with base cards okay if that's okay simply yes. because um most of these are sketches and so everything we yeah. talk about we will put images up so and i'm going to name check and thank all you fine people yes thank you every single one of you for you gems um jumping in with this you're all part of the episode um and you're all yeah. part of the podcast overall so thank you um for doing this but yeah boy oh boy this got people excited so i'm going to start off with friend of the show um you're all friends of the show but jose solaris yeah jose so um no you can still see my screen yes Yes, and I am looking at it on mine as well in case. Marvelous. Okay, well, I'll, dri I'll drive on here so that I can, okay. can you see my mouse. Drive. I can see your around. mouse. Lovely. I can see lovely, your hand. Lovely. Okay, Peek gorgeous. Picking the nose. Gorgeous. Yes, I'm, I'm reaching in. I'm pulling out a good one. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick us off in, in fine style. In fine style. In fine style with Marvel Masterpieces, 1994, Tim... And Greg Hildebrandt's awesome artwork for mm -hmm. the character Werewolf. Werewolf. And that is just gorgeous. Look at that. Look at I'd, I'd like to get that original painting. That's it is, perfect. That is a cracker. So, you know, I, I'm not going to describe these too much because and this, is, this is weird for an audio episode. But suffice to say, um, it, it looks really good. He's standing mm -hmm. on a rock. He's got the moon behind him. It's perfectly framed around. His Valley head. down below. Yeah, alley down below, and great yeah, lighting effect. He's yeah. given it some. He's got some rather strategically placed hair over his middle regions, right? Um, which, which is the downer. Which is fine, but his his nipples are there. It looks good. So you that's know, true. It's, it's good. There's something. So we've ventured into <laughs> <laughs> we've ventured into erotica as well as Halloween. Um, so thank you. For hand that. in hand. <laughs> hand in hand. Hand in. Something. I'm wearing a very slutty maid uh, outfit, so yeah. I mean, this kind of works out for us. <laughs> So, it's all Party City had, Ian. Okay. God. Wonderful. How can I stop? How can I get this to normal size? I can't. As <laughs> she said, yes. Hey. <laughs> Boom. Oh, Nailed yeah. it. Right. I've got no Ooh. idea how to change. Right. We're on. We're on this screen, and I've. I've opened. What have I opened? Go to your oh, arrows. it's opened in a new window. That's why. Oh. There we go. Marvelous. Okay. okay. So, and then, oh my goodness, he's just sent another one as we're on air. It's Did like he? he knew it. Hey! No, no, not Jose. This is the next fella. Oh, Larry. Larry Robidou, I'm going to say your surname is. Uh, Robidou, Robidou, Robida. Oh, la, 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 Larry sent us some images. La, 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 la. Why do I sing uh, a lot? I am a terrible. parrot. I just now, echo everything. I'm actually quite glad that you do because it really? means I'm not twisting in the wind on my own up here. Okay, um, well, that makes me happy. So, so yeah, so Larry, thank you, Larry. Uh, Yay, Larry. I'm not sure what you want, but I have a few like this. So and this was that's awesome. <laughs> he sent us. Oh, that's Mojo pretty funny. From Fleer Ultra X Men, which is a Mojo is actually a really good horror there, character. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? yeah, yeah. He's he's pretty horrific. What's going on? Is that stuff? Is that like injections? Well, it's very Hellraiser. Head? It's very Hellraiser. Yeah. So those are injections because he runs the television show and this alternate universe that the X Men get caught up into. From what I remember, I vaguely remember reading that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And then I remember, yeah, yeah. I love the neck. Yes. Yeah. So ninety four Fleer Ultra X Men, and this yeah. is Bill. Oh, that's How Bill Sienkiewicz. Sikovich, yes, Sikovich, who yeah. does the most creepy, perfect pieces ever. Uh, artists on New Mutants and many other amazing pieces. Yeah. But he did this great mojo, and it's a um, Electra. He did that Electra. Electra, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's very close up and very cool. And you can see how the wires are pulling on his mouth and his that eyes. That is, is absolutely terrifying as an image. The more I love I it. it, it's it's, it's very it's, cool. It's nuts. 
Ah, oh, man, where are these original pieces? That's right. beautiful. So what has he sent? I'm going to scroll through these because there's, there's some here that aren't necessarily. Oh, oh, hello. Brood. Now, of course, how do you say brood? that? Brood. brood, 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 as in as in brewed a cup of tea, or as in brewed some ale, or mm. as in uh, brood being offspring. Your brood, oh. I think, which I think is actually the root of the word. Um, oh. So brood, also from Fleer Ultra X Men. They're, they're nutty characters. I, 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 they were in the last thing I read with them in. I'm sure they've been in stuff more recently than this. The last thing I remember reading with them in was an episode. An episode <laughs> uh, of Wolverine and the X Men, the oh. uh, Chris Bacalo artwork on that, and um, it was the first volume of that. And there was an episode where someone had loads and loads of brood inside them. It was like they were pregnant. oh god, but yeah, it was properly out there. Um, I love it. In, in typical jaunty kind of Chris Bacalo style, that it actually actually quite worked. There's, because if you stop and think about it, it's quite a sinister thing. I can't remember the character that had them inside her, but it turns out. But yeah, it turns out there were some brood eggs that had hatched inside her, and they were like, and they all kind of came out and suddenly grew to normal size, and a, a battle <laughs> ensued. And yeah, it was. It was yes. Quite, quite nuts. So um, that's Wolverine awesome. And the X Men. It was certainly in one of the first issues of that series. Great series. Wow. Love checking out. Wow, wow. Um, I love it. I do have so to. There's some that. brood. Um, there's an there's a blood scream. Blood oh, scream. I know don't. nothing about this character, no, but that either. is a brilliant, brilliant representation of Blood so, Scream. The interesting thing about the 90s, and this is, <laughs> I guess this is the main difference between Marvel now, not Marvel now, which was that imprint they did a few years ago, <laughs> uh, Marvel now and Marvel then, is that I guarantee you wouldn't have this. No, you Marvel wouldn't. Sets now. Not no, even as base that, card art. No. Look at that. That's the fuel of nightmares. That is. No wonder this actually perfectly explains I have to get that. Oh, Why cool. everyone in the group who would have grown up collecting this type of image is completely and utterly bonkers. Oh, yeah. We all have <laughs> like, problems. We're all in therapy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I for mean, sure. You know, I mean, I can't uh, afford it, but you yeah, know, I, I pretend to be in therapy sometimes. Well, you know, I mean, that's... You know. I mean, is that adding to my craziness or is that helping? I think that probably is adding to your craziness. It's adding. That's adding. Yeah, yeah you're yeah, pretending yeah. to do something that you're not doing. Right. Yeah. And it's a couple of doctors that sometimes talk to me. Yeah. Yeah. That's the... <laughs> <laughs> I was At least I'm something. never alone, Ian. I was going to say something rude, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'll get to hold on. I'm going to be a good boy now. Don't add oh. fuel. I'll have you know I'm a sessions. very impressionable 46-year-old. <laughs> Don't be rude. Okay. Um, Whoa, 94 Fleer Ultra X, man. Reaper. Hello, Reaper. Reaper. Wow. Super trying, villain Reaper. Think, he looks like Lobo. I think looking at that signature, that could be a Mark Sasso, but I might be wrong because it's mm. so small I can't see it. So I'm probably fiendishly mis... Um, I think my favorite thing about the 90s cards when it was in fashion is when they would put those uh, planets like for sci-fi characters in the center yeah. behind them yeah, exactly. and they stack them because they do that with a lot of surfer cards. And that's like my favorite thing in the world. I love, I love that aesthetically. It just makes yeah. me so happy to see all the crazy like trapper keeper colors on planets and all this weird stuff. It is but wonderful. It is wonderful. Completely unfeasible really cool. in a physical sense. Yeah, so, no, it could but, never uh, actually, yeah, they no far from reality, but I from love reality, it. But I mean, <laughs> Hey, yeah, like like any of these characters are actually realities. So right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. interesting thing about this, when I look at this, is actually quite similar to the style that Simone Bianche was obviously trying to do. With those wonderful yeah. worlds that the paintings exist within. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like so this alternate kind yeah. of side universe just for the series. Yeah. So yeah, that so always that's that's awesome. It's really really funny. Yeah. I love it. Uh, Reaper, no idea who the catcher is, but it looks good. It's a super villain, super villain. Um, and uh, we've got there's more brood. Oh my, that, that is by deep. Bill again. Yeah, that's that's um, so anyone listening who's got kids, um, you probably don't want them to look at the tasting notes for this episode because I'm already <laughs> not going to sleep tonight looking at this. Um, Oh, 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 hello. I love this, is another, I love this painting so much. This is Wolf's Bane from 94 yep. Fear Ultra X Men. 
superheroes. Love to have this piece. Now, Wolfsbane is New Mutants, am I right? She is. She's New yes. Mutants. Yes. Yeah, Wolfsbane. she's awesome. We have a couple of um, other things that were submitted to us that have her as featured character. We do. We do. We're we going to come on to those in a moment. So. Yeah, I don't want to skip ahead. So there was another. Uh, where is it? Where is it? We got sent so much stuff, folks. You bear with me while I'm navigating around trying to actually find it. Um because we got sent in a number of things from a number of different channels. And I'm just trying to find the stuff that I sent to you. Yeah, just go to Messenger. Norris. Um, Norris. uh, (laughs) Earlier on. And someone sent in, there was a nine-card subset from a Fleer Ultra set that was Halloween-focused. Here we go. Hell yeah. Chromium, X-Men Chromium. Um, Now, interestingly, uh, this was sent in by Richard Wright, but Kevin too also sent this in uh, <laughs> on our Instagram. It's the pick. Like, it's the set. It's the Halloween Marvel set. I mean, it I don't is. know what else there is, really. Well, it's a nine-card um, page. Um, it's a section. It's a Halloween section in the base set yeah. of X-Men Chromium. Awesome. Now, Richard Wright says it's 95. Kevin said it was 96. I have a feeling that... that um, this is the Ku- if if I'm right, this is the Kubert set that came out as a Chromium in one year and then as a regular set the following mm. year. So I think they could possibly both be correct on this one. Um, anyway, um, it's it's really cool. I've no idea what I just did. Can't see it anymore. I love it. It's a so nine card panel and it's got Colossus, Cyclops, Gambit, Iceman, Professor X, Psylocke, Rogue, Storm, and Wolverine, all doing the Halloween thing. Yeah. I pulled back in the day the Colossus, and I think I traded for a Gambit. Oh. Um, but yeah, I love this set. When I pulled this set, because I've always been into like spooky stuff, I yeah. absolutely adore this little nine-page. Um, I I've think I've never seen this so before awesome. in my life. But so, Iceman, co- really, dressed as a snowman. Yeah, yeah, Iceman is a snowman. Professor X is a wizard. You know, little sexist with Cyclops being a maid, but you know, uh, Rogue being a vampire of the night yeah storm, storm is on a broomstick which looks really cool wolverine's, wolverine's actually a really he's a pirate and it looks the the positioning of the, the card is really cool gambit yeah. is this like cowboy western gambler type of dude <laughs> and then cyclops cyclops everybody is a elvis impersonator oh that's what he's doing right that's okay. what he's doing and then colossus is uh dracula I want to bite your neck, Kitty Pride. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he'll just sink right through it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but enough about wow. what they get up to behind closed doors. This is um, this is a that's absolutely. Fucking, <laughs> we've lost Norris. Norris, he's, so, I'm back. I'm back. Um, it's it's a it's a lovely little subset. I think it's really really clever. What's your favorite um, of those? It's yeah. probably uh, uh, the maid's outfit is kind of doing it for me. I'll be honest with you, um, <laughs> <laughs> but I think Storm on the broomstick just looks hilarious. It sounds really cool. Um, really and Cyclops. Cool. One one thing I noticed with this is that do you notice that it's all in very strict alphabetical order? The names of the characters. Oh, you're right. I didn't because even know. They, they, yeah, they do that. They do that a lot on the '90s sets, and actually, oh. you think about um, in fact the I think they did it on the 20, 2007 Marvel Masterpieces at least. The characters are in a alphabetical order. So, for example, card oh. one of Marvel Masterpieces 94 is Apocalypse. <laughs> I just know that because whenever you see the set stacked up, you see the car- you see the card that's on top. I'm sure that's helping somebody with their OCD on collecting. Yeah. They're like, why yeah. can't they also be alphabetized? Yeah. I don't get it. <laughs> they, don't, um, they don't do that with... <laughs> can tell you they don't do that much these days but um no you know i wonder how their decisions i i know it has something to do with somewhat of popularity of characters mm -hmm. but i wonder how they uh disperse them it's pretty interesting well we know why we know what they do with the marvel masterpieces premium ones now is they put the most popular characters in the shortest print yeah i'm noticing that i mean sometimes they give you like a tier two tier one character which are like this should be more of like a tier three so yeah. it does help with like certain character collectors getting that you know break yeah. <laughs> in price point, yeah. but um yeah if, yeah if yeah the they definitely do. exists within the which is right the series not always the case. 
Um, right, I've, I've, cool. I've managed to go. Well, I've, I've no idea what's going on here. How do I get out of the picture thing? There we go. <laughs> I can't operate. I can't operate machinery, folks. We're all doomed. We're all doomed. We're doomed. We're doomed. We're doomed. It's a Halloween episode. We're doomed. Avast ye, my hearties. Ha <laughs> ha. Right. So let's go back to the. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We've let Nor we've let Ian out of the cage. We have <laughs> the Halloween episode. It gives me a it's chance. Out. I love it. Simply because <laughs> simply because this is the first thing that comes up. We got a wonderful, oh. wonderful, wonderful submission from yeah. Jose Caballero. Jose, thank you very much. You're a dude. Um killing me, man. <laughs> he sent some gnar pieces. Um, actually, I'm not sure the first one is. So the first one is really, really funny. Really, um, really let funny. me zoom this in. <laughs> was, I love this card so pieces. much. This is such Artist an amazing proof amazing card, card from the either the 07 or the 08 set. I can't tell from the, from the front of it. Um, and it's, it's an AP, yeah. It is an AP, and it's um, it's Cyclops and Wolverine, and Cyclops is going. So he was already dead before you got here. And Wolverine standing there with his claws out with blood and Gut tissue. And entrails. Yeah. Dripping from his... So you definitely not get this approved these days. Um, dripping from his claws. And all he says is, yes. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Looking as, yes. as sheepish <laughs> as, um, as Wolverine can. He did a great job. The positioning, so, yeah. the, the choice is all perfect. The thought... So, I mean, and, you know, here's the crazy thing, right? It's a sketch card. Yeah. So there's an actual letterer, like they took their time to letter it, and it yeah. looks very much comic book lettering accurate, and it, the thought bubbles are very well drawn. I mean, yeah. it's an it's an impressive piece. It's nice. a great artist proof sketch card. I mean, this is what you want from an artist proof, yeah. right? Off brand humor, something slightly different. Yeah, ah, sick. One of the one of the best horror cards I've seen for it's sure. So funny. I'm looking at this, and the photograph itself of the card the card is posed and staged yeah. on a rather nice wooden top yeah, uh, yeah, with nice. a lot of texture going on and the focus is perfect because it's out of focus on the background mm -hmm. and and then you realize that there's writing in the bottom right hand corner of the photograph artwork by peter h naguyan so i imagine he's mm -hmm. an artist photography by cedric nakon is that on the song yeah i think it's nakon so this is a proper like professional photograph taken yeah this artist proof card yeah what's that really all nice. about i you know and this is this is when i saw Probably this bit back in the day it when he blew was, my mind yeah that's a really nice properly staged things probably yeah. back in the day when you had like where websites were kind of where you would see these cards or you Possibly. know the forms well how do so, we know jose didn't get it done himself because the man loves his car yeah i would do that so <laughs> i mean that's that's good that's I good. do that. I do it. So, so you know, it's good. We like that. So anyway, and then he sent me, <laughs> yeah. Then he sent me a, uh, a closer up picture of it, and then he sent me. So we can't believe we're over an hour into this Halloween episode, and we haven't mentioned Marvel zombies. Marvel zombies, Marvel which is zombies. which is a whole thing that didn't really, didn't really land with me at all. I kind of what? Yeah, it just didn't. I mean, I I, yeah, I like seeing the fun, the funniness of decomposing Marvel characters like eating each other. But, but beyond that, I'd never, I've got zero interest in reading the comics. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. you were talking about the, the well, Marvel. I kind of knew it existed. No, well, no, no, not that necessarily. Just Marvel zombies as a, as a thing yeah, yeah, yeah. Surfer, Surfer was a big deal in that. So I remember reading that series. I mean, it was fun, you know. But you know, yeah, it was fun. It is what it is. It is what it is. It, it is. They have an omnibus of it, so you can like yeah, catch it's up coming back. Paperbacks. It is coming back. Yeah, they want to bring a Smith back. station. Uh, Author, Arthur so. Arthur, uh, so Soy Dam or Soy Dan. Soy Dam. Yeah, I think um, that's who it is. Who, who is a follower of ours on um, <laughs> Evan Collector's Instagram because <laughs> I posted a card of his from a Marvel masterpiece. It's oh seven or eight set. Oh, he was an artist on that? Be, yeah, well, some of his art was used on that because none of the art okay. on those sets is original. Uh, right. Which is why yeah, you've got yeah. people like Adam Hughes on there, which is why yeah. you've, got people, um, you've got some crazy, crazy good artwork on them. Yeah, they're, um, really, they're nice. I like them. So anyway, Marvel Masterpieces, 
and, and again i don't know which year this is but it's a it's not an artist proof it's a pack inserted nar um julio or julio nar who is um very sought after as an artist by a lot of people a lot, a lot of people really 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 go after his work and it tends to fetch high dollar when yeah. it pops up 100%. this is actually one of the more minimal cards that he's seen it's not his his work is absolutely awesome it's not quite to my taste because i find his 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 cards quite busy there's quite a lot going what on. yeah no there's there's quite a lot going on in them it's just, just yeah, i mean there is yeah, yeah, yeah. there definitely and, is yeah, yeah. So, but this so so by virtue of the fact that that's that's the normal modus operandi of his of his right. style and his artwork yeah. this is actually the favorite sketch card of his i've ever seen because yeah. it's really minimal and it yeah. is zombie wolverine <laughs> coming at you no, they're out of, awesome. Out of a graveyard. Yeah. And it's brilliant. I love this card. You have his rib cage sticking out. His, I mean, the, the Cnar has this great ability to draw very fine and very detailed and very, very small very space. Very, very fine. Yes. So yes. The, the amount of work he does is just brilliant. And there's yes, no one that compares to, to top notch. And in this card, it's so cool because he's on the hilltop, gravestones in the background, Wolverine's <laughs> coming out from the dead bones are slightly turned the edging on his like spikes for his uh his mask and his boots are super creepy and One edgy his feet is skeletal i love it and then he put yeah. the marvel zombies title yes in the card as well so you yeah. can see that it's a it's a really nice piece on and so listeners know probably the most sought after type of sketch cards are from the marvel masterpiece series where they did where they were allowed to do zombies before they were inevitably banned yeah so they always have um, the right sense they always have like kind of an allure to them and kind of a mystery that surrounds them but yeah that this one i this one's one of my favorites for sure yeah no it is an absolutely gorgeous piece of work i'm just looking at the the perspective lines that are coming in i love that yeah yeah it's just really nice yeah because it has that like car kind of like oh yeah. no and then you have yeah. these lines that are coming in <laughs> on the car themselves it's beautifully inked too and then there's this great it's it's not so it's not like crazy color but it's this monotone uh yes. monochrome type of coloring yes. um which i love yeah i think it looks great the i love to get a zombie surfer love it zombie surfer yeah Just, does that mean his, his surfboard is also slightly decomposing? Obviously. How else would you do it? Well, I don't know. It's just the lazy not, not to organic, have a surfboard. <laughs> <laughs> not decomposing. You would, you would no, see, I imagine his surfboard being like the gravestone. You know what I mean? And him like yes. creeping up. I don't know. Yes. That's yeah. seeing. You know what? I think I'm going to go hit up Nar. I think I have my new commission. Well, I think for... you should do. I think you should do. Listen, it, you know what? I'm one doing of the, it. It's one, of the, it's one of those things. I, you know, um, when we did that interview with Dave DeVries and he said about the way the eye travels <sighs> and the way the eye does. Yes. Um, so I think, I think different, you know, it's, there are different styles that different people's eyes I, a, adjust to and kind of get attracted to. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's, so for me, there's, there's three artists that I can think of off the top of my head who specialize in really intricate work, getting a lot of really small stuff yeah. into the cards. NAR is one of them, as we've talked about. Mm -hmm. um, the other that springs to mind, uh, there's actually a fourth. I think Malik Akar is also really good at that, but that's not one of the three I was thinking of. Um, the other one uh -huh. is Lack Lim. Lack Lim gets a lot of detail. He gets in a there. lot in. And he gets a lot, a lot of detail. In, in, in terms of the current, uh, currently active and very prolific, Mitch Ballard. You know, he does get a lot of detail. I would say. He gets an awful lot of. Uh, well, I like his an awful style lot of too. Background. Um, stuff going no he does well. great stuff i mean yeah i mean you also have warren um martinek martinek who did those yeah. covers for those um, oh, archive course. sketch yeah. cards which are just all detail mm -hmm. anthony tan which has detail maybe not like detail detail it has more of like a sketchy yeah fine line detail which i think is still cool yeah um so definitely tan i'm trying to think those are really at the top of the list for me oh and um of course Ooh, uh, hmm. it's I gone, just forgot. It? Yeah, it's gone. I'll come back to me. There will be remember. a light bulb moment in a in a moment. It, it'll yeah, it'll, it'll yeah. happen. You'll suddenly it'll happen. Eureka! Um, <laughs> <laughs> Michael Munshaw, my friend of the podcast, um, on the Instagram best. at the art of at art of M two. Um, 
as always thank you michael <laughs> sent us a little note michael's the uh, best really the best i saw your post on wanting terrifying cards for the podcast recording i'm not sure these fit the bill they most certainly do sir yes it was a ghost rider and a legion sketch card i did for marvel masterpieces and marvel oh my God, Premier, respectively these. so let's have a look at those before i dive into the third one and the third character so the, the ghost ghost rider is an obvious Halloween. That bone looks amazing. Ghost Rider is the pinnacle of Halloween. Oh, sorry, Marvel. talking about Ghost Rider. There we go. Um, vengeance. Vengeance. Vengeance is mine. Vengeance. Penance Ghost stare. Rider. The penance stare. I love that. <laughs> With the, um, you know, Ghost Rider does that thing where he it gives you the penance stare. Yes, that's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, kind yeah. Of, I think the idea that's is good. to make the recipient feel the pain of the victims. Yeah, I love oh, that. I love I love Vengeance um, characters like him and uh Spectre. I mean Spectre being DC, but Vengeance yeah, yeah, yeah. characters get me. I'm a, I'm always I'm always there. I'm always signed up for those characters. Oh, I'm at, as we are <laughs> Halloween episode. Halloween. I'm not sure what voice that was. The Midnight Suns, the whole 90s. I'm still collecting those. I've got <laughs> in fact oh. i've just seen something that makes me laugh um so i have i have some long boxes here and one of them has my ghost riders in and then it segues quite nicely from the 70s ghost riders to the um late 80s early 90s one the mark tex era um yeah one with the which had the glow in the dark cover of that yes. flaming skull and there was also a card set release of tex's artwork Yes, the, yes, 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 yes. Images, which also had a glow in the dark subset, which mm. is absolutely bonkers. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, and that then, needs to come back. And then you had the Midnight Suns explosion of kind of 94, 95, where you had Book of Dark Hold, you had Night Stalkers, you had Blade, Vampire Hunter. Uh, that one, Blade. Quite, that one's quite, quite, most of these are, are dollar bin finds. Blade is the expensive one. Well, because of the spec that's coming out for the movie. Yeah, but no, it always has been because it was such a limited print run. Oh, I didn't so, realize yeah, that. Wow. Yeah, I think there was only about 10, 12 issues of it. Um, then you had huh. you had Doctor Strange, uh, Sorcerer Supreme crossed over into Midnight Suns in the later years. Mm -hmm. You had Morbius, of course. And, Morbius, um, big Halloween character. Then right you there. had Spirits of Vengeance, which was yeah. Demi Blaze and Ghost Rider doing their thing. Yep. And so I'm gradually, I'm piecing together. I think I've got most of those. You know, I'm still getting some Ghost Rider ones. That's a really I'm good collection, though. Down and, and grab all these. Marvel Knights is what they call them, right? Uh, no, this There's was more Midnight darker, Suns. greedy characters. Well, this was Midnight, Midnight Suns. Sun. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And before we go right. on to Marvel Knights, which we will go on to, so I've got some backing board. I use um, backing boards, and then you know the dividers that go into comic boxes. Yes, black ones. For my oh, <laughs> oh damn, one, those look good. My Midnight Suns box. That's a great box. Yeah, that's so really those cool. are going in. So I got those um off someone on oh, uh, those are nice. a couple of months back, and they're, they're actually really cool. So that's so creepy why, and perfect. Which is why I was I was on the few episodes back when I was saying at the end when you had someone interrupting you just at the end of the podcast and i showed you that ghost rider yes with the all black front and back cover. yes yeah yeah all black cover it. it just it just for me it just speaks that matches well. so well yeah i love so, that well they're doing an all green hulk cover i saw after we did that episode are they funny enough yeah yeah so they're they're, they're coming they're becoming a thing a little bit fabulous um yeah so ghost rider michael munshaw brilliant and then the, the other one that you uh sent us legion for Marvel pre <sighs> premiere, I love Legion. Look at that, that's some hair he's got going on. We yeah, I always like Legion. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that. I like the background. Mm -hmm. I like the lightning thing he's got going on around him. The energy. Me too. Um, but then, <laughs> this one makes me laugh. I'm including one of my Squirrel Girl cards because there's nothing more terrifying to me than receiving a package from Upper Deck and <laughs> having to draw her. So, um, <laughs> and he's not the first person to say that. You remember Simone? Yeah, Simone didn't want to do it either. He wasn't, really wasn't keen. Because she's, uh, she's a hard character to draw, yeah. actually. Having said she's that, Michael, difficult. you nailed it. I think you did really well, man. You got Tippy Toe in there. You got, I think it's Tippy Toe. Um, I've no idea what you're buddy. talking about. 
Is that, Her squirrel is that, buddy. Is that <laughs> okay? Let me clarify squirrel, for some people. Here. She got a squirrel, squirrel sidekick. A, yeah, and it's awesome. Okay, you know what? You people need to catch up. Okay, because Squirrel Girl's <laughs> the bomb diggity. Okay, she can whoop almost anybody's butt. So just so you know, this is okay? the most terrifying it's episode top-notch. ever. This is. Terrifying. I'm serious, man. Squirrel Girl's which is for why real. It's, which is why it's so around. terrifying. <laughs> yeah she's scary man well she has a lot of texture to it too you know she has yeah. the, the the she has the the, the garment where she, you know she has her dress she has her uh, jacket and squirrel girl uh famously is a character who was one of the first characters to challenge body type for marvel comic books oh really so she, yeah 100 percent. she's not ever drawn with those ridiculous hourglass figures that you know yeah, yeah, yeah. don't you know yeah so outside of reality with body expectations, all that stuff. She's actually, you know, proportioned as a woman and, and usually is not considered, not considered, you know, this typical, fully mm-hmm. symmetrical, pretty character. Mm-hmm. So the way you draw her to capture her essence and her personality requires a little bit of maneuvering. And it's not the, you know, you have to do some things differently with her. Yeah. Um, and she has a tail and she has all that fur and she has her short hair, which most Marvel characters that are drawn or have longer hair. Um, so quite a lot of challenge there for that character. Yeah. You, yeah, you know what yeah. I really like about her? What? <laughs> She's so furry. You know what? <laughs> I can't even with you. I'm trying here and I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me stroke your squirrely tail. Um, That's it. Here we go. Right. So let's <laughs> give me so many nightmares. Michael, this really is a horror episode, everybody. Yeah. Michael, thank you. No one's going to sleep after this. Uh, thank you michael all, least he did great you. that looks awesome michael's awesome and then matthew demars matthew michael is awesome. i like michael matthew demars sent us some um, halloween ladies hello ladies um Sneaky outfit ladies and he he did so, so these th- are not official these are oh these are things he did wow he did great no 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 these aren't these aren't no. i think i'm no i think i'm pretty sure these are official let me just find his uh what he said he are said they? here are my no they're pscs to be fair so we're yeah, still gonna, we're still so. gonna, we're still gonna dive in here are my Please. sexy yeah, women yeah, yeah. of marvel PSCs are psc great. Halloween is one of my favorite holidays, so why not combine the ladies in sexy yeah. outfits? Of course, we will equally represent gentlemen in sexy outfits on this podcast. That's right. If people send us images of them, in fact, we've 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 sent we've put quite a few images of them on here. I just Wolverine. I just share with you what I'm wearing now. Wolverine you, you is a put that up there if you need to. Wolverine, as the Australians say, is a bit of a spunk. Anyway, so a let's bit have of a, a look. spunk. <laughs> Never heard that expression. No, why did you expression. come up with this stuff? Is it? I didn't real? come up with it. Are you messing with me? I'm I feel not like messing you're having with a laugh. Mind. I feel like you're messing with me. I'm not having a bubble. It's okay. okay. Um, I'm trusting you. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> oh, By the way, no, did you like really the podcast arrested, logo yeah. with the blood dripping <laughs> down it. Yes, you did great. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> that was pretty cool, wasn't it? I, I saw. To, uh, I turned. To, I turned to my wife and I was like, "Ian's really showing me up here." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I I'd stole another image and put our circle over it. Um Amber. but but uh, don't tell no. anyone. Oops. <laughs> anyway, never mind. Um so we'll post <laughs> we'll post some pictures of these. I've no idea who these first yeah. two characters are. Um so um I'm not even sure who they are. Maybe Scarlet Witch? Actually, I don't know actually. who the nurse is. No, he who... did tell me who the Scarlet Witch. Is. The artist? I don't know. Um this is Ooh. artist Sherry Leek. Um, Sherry Leak. I feel like I know that. Sherry Leak. It rings that's a bell. Cool. Um, but again, I've no idea. Yeah, I think I think that's uh, Emma Frost and Scarlet Witch. I think Emma Frost. That's Emma Frost one. is in a nurse's outfit. Yeah. Moving on. Uh, what's the next one? This is by Denise Vasquez, and it is that's Emma Frost. Uh, trick Very or treat. Very cool. She's just holding a little for sure. Card saying, trick or treat. Trick or treat. Is that a set of eyes behind her? Yes, creepy cat eyes, it creepy. looks like. That's creepy. Also, her trick or treat notice is simple. It's on a plain white sheet of paper, but with her presentation, you don't need much flair mm-hmm. on no, that notice. It's more of an invite to a Halloween party, it looks like. That's nice. <laughs> nice, good. We like that one. <laughs> now, the next one, I'm quite excited about when it loads on my screen. Oh, my goodness me. Here we go. This is the one. 
This, it is I taking believe, its time to load. it is taking its time. Look at that. I think that's, uh, that that's might a be good Shanna. one. I that's a great one. That's his. That's his character. It is. It's yeah. Shanna's she devil. It is. Um, and she's holding a scythe in a pumpkin patch with a full moon in the back. I'm so glad you were able to spot all that detail. That's brilliant. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. It's <laughs> good because I'm. I. It always takes me a little bit longer to actually register what I'm seeing. So, um, so I'm yeah. glad you got there before me because no one wants to hear me. It looks great. Hear Creepy hear tree costumes. mountains. I love it. That is good. Now this one, this next one, this I'm cult. very excited about. Yes, because it's my good friend. Um, I, I was a huge fan of his, and uh, we've gotten to know each other over the years, and I've met him uh, a couple of times. Uh, Scott Barnett. Um, oh. I'm going to give a shout out to Scott um, um, just because Scott. Scott um, Scott's a really nice dude. Um, he is at some stage, I think, probably going to uh, come on and, and 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 give us some Scott love at some stage, but. Um, that's I just awesome. Give him a shout out because just because you know Scott is uh, a dude and he's he's had a rough uh, few months. So um, so Scott, your <laughs> this house is mine. Um, That's pretty it's awesome. Oh nine, and it is. Who is that? Oh, Rogue. Is that Rogue oh my Rogue? god, they're dressed up as each other. Rogue is dressed up as Electra. And Electra's oh, dressed up as Rogue. Right. I'm glad they're you holding, spotted that. And they're holding, that's amazing. They're holding, they're, right, they're holding yeah. pumpkin, like the things you carry around to put sweets in. Yes, and they're yes, both yes, knocking yes. at the same door. Candy the same bags time. and their there pumpkin stuff, yeah. And Rogue has her hand on the knocker of the door, and yeah. they're both staring each other down. And he yeah. put his signature on one side, and then the quote, this house is mine. Love it. That's wonderful. That's I really like that. cheeky. I, I like love that. it. Scott's, Scott's good at his cheeky ladies. He's really, really he does a good job there. That's awesome. <laughs> this next one, this next one, Kristen Allen. I love Kristen Allen. I love your work, Kristen. Kristen, um, I feel like I know who that is. So you, you'll, when you see this, you'll be like, I know that's Diamond. I'm excited. Yeah, of course. Isn't it? Oh, brilliant? that's an awesome one. Isn't it brilliant? I've got a number your of black cats. cats. I love. By, by Kristen. Is that Mary Jane? <laughs> it is Mary Jane. It's Mary Jane. Do you see what's written on the gravestone behind oh, I them? Oh, Gwen Stacy. <laughs> yeah. uh, Look at the that's moon. That's cute. Look at how she's done the purple of the moon. I love it. I love Brilliant. it. The colors are so well contrasted. Yeah. Yeah, guys, yeah. you are literally going to need to be um, following along with this. So um, I'm hoping you're keeping up with it. And the last one that Matthew sent us is Tonio. Tonio, here we go. Where is it? Where is it? Tonio. Oh, Tonio. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so that's Miss Marvel and I don't know who that could be Scarlet Witch. I'm looking at the glove. Could it be Scarlet Witch. I think it's Scarlet Witch. I think you're right. Which is appropriate given it's Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> coming over for dinner no um, so, please yeah. don't that's don't lovely. We have so we're, many we're dumplings gonna, left we're gonna <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> you can't have any stop halloween Gosh. dumplings speaking halloween of dumplings, halloween dumplings that's actually really awesome. DeMars, thank you for sending us those halloween. matthew thank you brother um, that's really so much fun um and then from Kevin, well, we'll we're gonna do we're gonna do both Kevins. We'll start with Kevin, Kevin, two, Kevin, and then we'll go Kevin one. Yay! And then we'll go Jalen Warner. And then I think that it's almost about to be daybreak, so we're going. Yeah, to so we'll have to wrap it up. So we'll have to think about <laughs> wrapping up. So Kevin two <laughs> sent us these absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's just done that because that's not the image I clicked on. Let's click on. Yeah, it. there we go. Glow in the dark, a glow in the dark card. Oh, I'm so Marvel jealous. Masterpieces. And he sent he sent a shot that will be hopefully you'll be looking at it um, as I speak. I'm just trying to find his message from Instagram. He says navigating his multiple Instagram accounts on his phone. Um, oh, Carla Cohen sent a very nice message on um, Instagram, just thanking us for um, giving her a shout out on last week's Aww. podcast, uh, which I thought was really cool. Um, what a gem. She's not on Twitter, but she is on Instagram. Um, but I did find, and I shared on our feed, a really cool seven-minute interview with Carla at San Diego Comic-Con that someone else had posted. 
So oh, I've wow. shared them on our um, on our Twitter feed. This is where you need to get get your um, get yourself in some Twitter action there. Uh, Twitter, old, an old, an old Norris. I feel like that's um, too many. Too, um, yeah, Twitter. It is. <laughs> it is. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, there has never been a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Is how I feel whenever <laughs> I open the Twitter app, especially oh, on my personal feed. Yeah, uh, because yeah. I follow a lot of people who. Oh my goodness, the politics in your country is polarized. I follow I know. people. Tell I Tell me about I it. That's why I don't get on Twitter. I'm, I, yeah. I hate social media because people just, are insane. I just, people lose their minds. Anyway. People got primes, um, so Kevin too. <laughs> thank you, Kevin. He sent us this first one. And it is Dapper Dan Shoning. Oh, that's right. In the dark ink. And I remember Dapper Dan Shoning's work being very highly revered when he was, um, when the when the Marvel Masterpieces stuff was being busted. Um, you can really, really see it. There's three, he sent us oh. three cards here. So you can see Doctor Strange, Ghost Rider, and uh, I'm not sure. Barbarian? I have no idea. Don't know. It could be a demonic one. Anyway. Yeah. And then in lower light in the middle, part of the picture and then in no light at all apart from the glow in the dark stuff so doctor strange is really clever because it's only the eye of agamotto that's in glow in the dark ink yeah so it's just a little dot and then Love the guy it. on the right whatever character that is is um oh his eyes and his spikes that are coming out of his shoulder yeah glowing but then of course ghost rider in the middle steals the show because his whole yeah. skull built you know so you can see pretty much the whole image and you know exactly what it is i think that looks really I cool. love it that looks really I love cool. It. So, uh, uh, I'm you know who else in. started doing some Halloween ghost, uh, ghost uh, glow in the dark stuff, right? Is Peach, um, Momoko. Our, our our friend Momoko, yeah, yeah, she started yeah, yeah, doing yeah. some glow in the dark stuff too. So hopefully oh. in the next sketch card series, she'll do some glow in the dark stuff. Oh, I'd love that. But she's I'd she's just that. started doing that, so hopefully that comes back. I have to say that Ghost Rider skull there. I could well use that as the lead image for next for this episode because that's brilliant. I love it. <laughs> so awesome. It goes right. Um, and then the other, I'm very aware of the fact that we've been sent an awful lot more cards that we've yet to talk about. Uh, this one um, is an oddity. So it's not so much a horror one. It's just an oddity in terms of the card. It's I'm excited. It's an art, an artist called Jesse LeBay or Lab. Um, and it's an embossed sketch. Whoa. So there's the back of it, and you can see, obviously, the artist has, has had to muddle the back of the card to get the embossing to come through on the front. Whoa. Look at that. Um, I think it's not sure. Fascinating. That I've never seen that. It's really interesting. So the that's, back of the card. Um, that's Iron very, Fist. Yeah, it does look like Iron Fist. So Iron Fist, mm. well, depending on your views of the Netflix series, is or isn't a horrific character. But No, um, that Netflix series was garbage. That was yeah. really bad. He's not a bad character sometimes. I, I struggled. I mean, I didn't. It was terrible. No, that was <laughs> awful. The editing, everything it got, was it shot. Got series to, two. No. We, we got, my wife and I got three episodes Bears. into series one. And no. then we, um, to be fair, the wife also bailed on um, Luke Cage. And I really enjoyed that. Luke Cage, first season Luke Cage was really good. He yeah, dropped yeah. it off for me, but I we thought it was great. We didn't make first it season. It. Um, but then the Defenders, of course, um, yeah. came along. And the Defenders as a series, I thought, wasn't bad. I right. love Sigourney Weaver being in it. Um, Sigourney Weaver, though, man, she's it's a god. Just, oh, it's just Sigourney crazy. Weaver, just, if just everything. I just rewatched Alien again, oh. and just, I mean, just a perfect. <laughs> no, she's awesome. She was phenomenal in that piece. I'm, I'm, I'm laughing because it reminds me of a joke. There's two oh, astronauts really? in space. And one go, uh, and they're making they're making a cup of tea, and one goes, "I can't find the milk," and the other one replies, "In space, no one can use cream." <laughs> In space, no one can hear you scream. No one yeah. can use cream. Yeah, I love it. I thought you'd like uh, that. Yeah, you I have, do. I love you that. Have to, you have to work <laughs> at it. Anyway, so the embossed one, um, it's more of an oddity, really. Um, it, uh, um, but anyway, I mean, cool. it's quite cool. Yeah, I've never seen that. I've never an seen a Marvel effect. Masterpiece do Oddity. And that's a 08, too. So uh, that's yes. the Fantastic yes. Four backing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the first uh, Marvel Masterpieces 2008 set. So uh, yeah. Kevin won uh, the original. Kevin St. Jack. Uh, good evening, Kevin. Has the sent original. Us, oh. Oh, my goodness. He sent us so many. We're not going to be able to go through 
all of these, but my goodness. He's the best. accepted. I mean, you could do a whole episode based on this. Now, there's a couple of characters I wanted to pull out of, of all of the <sighs> gorgeousness that Kevin very kindly took the time to go through. So he sent all the pictures, but then I said... Seriously, you know, thank you so much, Kevin. I, then I, I, I said, oh, I don't suppose you could do the artist. So he sent them all again. Bless him. Thank you. Uh, with... Um, the set and the artist underneath. And the first one I wanted to pull out was a character that I think is sorely underrepresented 100% in, in Marvel cards is Damon Hellstrom. Mm. Um, and this is a wonderful, wonderful piece. Um, it, it repeats lower down. So I'm just going to scroll down because he sent it again, but this time he put uh, 1998 mm-hmm. Marvel Creators Collection. So it's one of the OG sets wow. to feature um, sketch graphs. And the artist is, well, he's, he said Tude Ferguson, but I'm sure that should be Todd. Um, and it's lovely. It's really nice, simple, but effective. Black and beautiful. White. Really nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. I love it. Um, and then... So good. This one I want to go on to because this, this is an artist. Yeah. I'm going to reach out to this artist. Now, this is an artist who is very comics, but he did some sketch cards for Marvel Masterpieces 2007-2008. David Mack and my goodness he's he's a fine fine artist he did all those Daredevil covers yeah I remember and a lot of the Daredevil internal work he's got kind of a very watercolor ethereal kind of vibe going on yeah Um, those are the words that spring to mind anyway yeah Um, it looks like a Japanese um yes what you know what I mean like the The lettering the the yeah collier glass uh, what is it called with the art of the art of writing um, um i can't remember but stephen miller who's one mm, of my favorite um yes artists who's kind of retired now he did he came out of retirement last year to do a kiss set um oh, wow. and his black cats i i seek whenever i find them i've got quite a few yeah of them. and he did a he did a um a um an ap for me of black cat Few, oh nice um which I, I can't remember if you've seen anyway he specializes in that style he's very much in that style that that oriental kind of influence i think he's so cool that. but anyway back to david mack so he did sketch cards so this is this is one of those things this is why masterpieces 2007 2008 was so sought after and still is is because you yeah. had a lot of the heavyweight artists who were doing comics at the time did sketch cards in the same way that the the original sketch card sets that we talked about um, with Kevin previously have mm-hmm. got them. So this is David Mack and it's Blade is the character, um, the vampire hunter from Masterpieces uh, 2008. Yeah. The second set and it's just wonderful. And there's another beautiful. one by him, yeah. from, um, Marvel Masterpieces 2008 set one, um, David Mack, uh, Ghost Rider. It's just yeah. superb. It's awesome. It's really nice. Um, I mean, just really, really cool. Really minimalistic. Really yeah. spooky. Really nice piece. Oh, it's lovely. I, I really like it. Um, and then uh, there's so many here. Um, I the other well, one. Well, the big highlight. Out, yeah, yeah you gonna which one are you going for? Well, I'm gonna go for this one first, which is Green Goblin, who yeah. surely in any Halloween episode has got to have a word. This is from Marvel Silver Age, and it's Emir Ribeiro. Yep. Um, it just really speaks to me in terms of the original kind of 60s artwork that was inspired. No, it's really clean. The original representation. Uh, but now, if I scroll down, which one are, we, which one are you going to look at? Which well, one I'm going to look at the mother, which is the uh, Gene Dracula. Uh, okay, stop me when I get there. All the way at the bottom. I love that There's wolf so bane. Many. I might get that from There's him. so many. I might actually get that Kevin, wolf bane from lucky him. Cards <laughs> lucky cards <laughs> lucky up. He's coming. Bane. Norris is coming. Um... Well, let, let's, let's, coming, let's stop. Let's stop and <laughs> just have one. a little. That's it. Here, go up. Uh well, I'm going to stop on this one. This yeah, is yeah, that's the a good one. Brian Kong, <laughs> Captain America as a zombie from Marvel Perfect. Zombies. That uh, is just really good. Um, but I think the one you wanted. Oh well. Mm-hmm. Well, speaking of which, Marvel Creators Collection, Mark Texera, Ghost Rider from 19. 19- yeah. Look at that. Tex. I've reached out. He to has Mark one of the Texera. best signatures ever. Yeah. I've reached out to him. I've sent him a message. Oh really? Um, so if anyone has got any connection with um, Mark Tex era and would just ask him to just um, if he'd be up for doing an artist intro or just even just saying hello. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, but um, which reminds me, I need to do an open call for um, 
any artists who do want to do an opening intro to the podcast, please um, record a voice memo and send it over to us. Um, either send it to myself or send it to Norin or submit it via direct message through one of the feeds. Uh, we'd love mm. to have you on. We'd love 100%. to represent you. Uh, we are going to get ourselves together to do more in the way of um, interviews, but it's just time, you know, and time zones. And, you know, yeah. <laughs> we've, we've talked about how busy we are. And I know a lot of the artists we want to talk to are quite busy, but I'm working yeah. on scheduling one at the moment for hopefully very, very soon with one of the friends of the podcast um did i did i hit the kevin um, sketch that you wanted to look at did i find it was it that um, no i wanted to look at the and i guess that would be the last the last one well, it was actually the, it and i can't find it here on, go down see. well i just went down to the bottom i was at the bottom yeah it was um it's the dracula right there ah so the dracula okay, yeah the sketchograph by gene <gasps> colin gene colin of course how could i miss yeah, it i thought you that's, said gene that's gray. i was looking for gene gray <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> no, Gene Colin. I mean, that is oh, the Gene. quintessential Halloween sketchograph, in my opinion. 1998, Marvel Silver Age, Dracula, and he's there with his hands curled around his chest or his neck, and he is drooling for his next victim. It is a very cool, drawn by the legend himself, sketchograph. I will bite you. I will suck your blood. I will suck your blood. Nothing. Very good, Dracula. I will definitely be sucking tonight. I love Bram Stoker's Dracula. It's super corny, but I still think it's good. Do you I mean the Coppola good. one? The Akiano yeah. 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 I think it's good. It's, it's not pretty terrible. bonkers. I mean, I mean, it's bonkers. Before Keanu well, Reeves. No, no, Ryder's in it, man. He was before he was even Neo. So before yeah. he was kind of, um, he was still in that woe dude thing. Mm-hmm. In fact, it was not long after he'd done Bill and Ted. And then yeah, it wasn't. That. And I, I love you, Keanu, but goodness me, I think the only thing more wooden than you in that film was the steak. Um... <laughs> oh, that's harsh. <laughs> Poor Keanu. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to put the sad Keanu. Um, meme. Poor guy. <laughs> have you seen the sad Keanu? No, I haven't. You haven't? Oh, mate, no. it's, a, it's an internet thing. I'm just going to look, okay. I'm just, I'm just gonna look it up right so now. I'm so not the If I type thing. in sad Keanu. So basically... Oh, wow, that just came out pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone took a photo of him eating a sandwich, um, which is... Come on, which is here, right? <laughs> and then, of course, oh. it, it and, and people ran with it. So there he is with Trump. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ugh. Yuck. And they're, they're, you know, people people have gone and put in stuff like around him. <laughs> it's Jack White. That's pretty funny. <laughs> so, anyway, anyone uh, the tasting notes are busy enough Poor as they guy. are. But anyone wants to have a look and just Google Sad Keanu and look at the images, and it is it's 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 time you'll never get back quite frankly um oh, poor guy and i just wanted to finish <laughs> with a uh, friend of the podcast um jaylen warner <laughs> jay Jaylen. thank you now jay as you know um and if you don't know then why weren't you listening when he did the artist intro we we, we said that he does his own a book called the adventures of mm-hmm. mighty moose <laughs> He sent me a picture of the front cover of it. Now, this isn't his Halloween submission, but it puts into context the picture that he did send. That's pretty funny. So this is his um, free preview that he did at San Diego Comic-Con. And it's a picture of Mighty Moose and his sidekick, which looks like a duck, I think. I think it's a duck. It looks like a duck. <laughs> it's, uh, it's basically a moose in spandex. It's, it's, Rightfully it's, so, it's yeah. Hilarious. I'm, I'm going to have to check this out. <laughs> Which we need that. So. Uh, the world needs that. And then he sent <laughs> then he sent a photo of him and his daughter cosplaying as Mighty Moose and the duck sidekick for Halloween. Oh, that's so cute. Isn't that wonderful? Those costumes look good too, man. I know. Jay, you, great. Make, you make a good moose, my friend. Seriously. Um, that's good. That's nice. Um, that looks awesome. Hey, you know, this podcast needs more middle-aged white men in the um, 40s um, wearing spandex. And I've they're... always said that. Exactly. I've always said that. Exactly. It's the one thing. This this podcast needs 20% more spandex. 100%. And, um, and while we're talking about Jalen, he sent some examples of some of his work, including an absolutely gorgeous <laughs> Walking, with, <laughs> Walking Dead sketch cover. It's actually a really good sketch. I really like that. I really like yeah. that a lot. Uh, but the one that caught my eye was this real fun X-Files one that he did. Oh, how cool is that? 
I want to believe with the poster on the side. I love that. Very cool. I mean, it's just wonderful. So, um, Jay That's Lynn. awesome. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, so and good. what better way to wrap up the Halloween podcast? Let's do it. Scalder and Mali, oh, Mulder and Scully, rather. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I muffed that. Are you aware of that's okay? A song by an English group called Catatonia called Mulder and Scully. Oh yeah, no man, no. I can't play it to you now on the audio feed because we will have okay. to pay rights to use it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Unfortunately, <laughs> um, but um, it um, it's Caris Matthews was the singer from oh. Catatonia, and she's Welsh. And she's very mm. Welsh. So, um, and and when you hear the song, you can actually hear her Welsh accent a little bit in her singing. Oh. You know, she's going, Mulder and Scully, like this. No way. <laughs> it's really funny. It's a brilliant awesome. song. You should listen yeah. to it. It's kind of I will. A, I will. Actually, um, you know, it was funny. I was just, um, I'm addicted to a song now that's a really creepy song. And you know who this is. It's, um, she oh my gosh what's her name kate something running up that hill is her song oh, kate bush yeah kate bush right right yeah. she has a song called withering heights yes oh my god i love that it's song it's, it's me it's coffee i come yeah. home oh, oh so yeah. good so yeah. good yeah so my good. wife is big into that my wife is big into that because she grew up with um kate bush's greatest hits oh like, really yeah in in their house and um we were very lucky kate bush did some shows in london a few years ago no, really? which are the, her first shows and they were i think she played three weeks at the hammersmith apollo and they sold out in like half an hour um, Damn. It, this, this venue holds about 2200 what? and uh because i work in ticketing i managed to get right it, managed to get some get some stuff uh get some seats held and we went to see her and it was and I think I think she she said she was coming back to do this run of gigs. I can't remember what they were called now off the top of my head. Um, I'm having a bit of a brain fart, but it's okay. <laughs> it was the most incredible, and it wasn't it wasn't a it was a concert, but it was a theatrical experience. Wow! Actually, I could only it was, imagine. It's a performance piece. Is the, is the is the best way I can phrase it. Um, and it was absolutely packed. And I can I really really consider myself utterly blessed. Um, to have been able to see it um, wow as, as i speak i'm just google it was in 2014 so um, jealous. and it was in september and what was it what was it called what was it called just trying to <laughs> i'm really she's a, she's phenomenal and i love dawn. her style that was it before the dawn before the dawn what and a she good did title. it and she did it as three acts wow so first act was literally her and her band an absolutely incredible band i mean when i realized like who half of the half of the band were the same band that peter gabriel does most of his stuff with oh wow like uh so you had david rhodes on guitar you had manu Cache on drums oh, just yeah, phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. Um, and i've been lucky enough to see peter gabriel a few times with that band as well um but um so the first uh, i guess it was the first 10 12 songs was that then there was an intermission then the second act was one whole story about a woman being lost at sea and it kind of played like a performance with songs and wow. then the third act was um her later albums from the noughties um with like a uh, anyway they've not done it as a video but they what? have they no they didn't well they haven't released it i'm sure they recorded it but they've released it as an audio so you can you can actually buy the album okay that's as cool. an audio so you can buy it but you can't see what the audience saw oh uh. Which Damn. Is a bit of a shame. Anyway, oh, it's the most incredible thing. She's amazing. She I love her. Um, yeah. She's she's lovely. Um, so anyway, yeah. we end our Halloween podcast, boys and girls. Boys and girls. Boys and girls. Ladies and germs. I would like you to gather round, if you may, for the last words of this podcast. That are going to come from my good friend Count Radula. <laughs> Remember, collectors, enjoy collecting. There you go. Held it. 
Thanks for listening to the Marvel Card Collectors Podcast. You can subscribe via our home on anchor.fm forward slash mccp. Leave us a message via that link with questions, comments, or just to say hi, and we may even play on the show. We're also on iTunes, Spotify, and all major podcast platforms. Our podcast is at the MCC Pod on Facebook and Twitter, and you can find links on our Facebook page to the two groups MCCW, Marvel Card Collectors Worldwide, and MMC, Marvel Masterpieces Collectors. On Instagram, find us at MM Collectors and at Sketch Card Hive. The great music we use is called Rocket Power by Kevin McLeod. Thanks to the collectors, artists, and creators who support the Marvel Cards Fan Collective. We'll see you next time, and remember, it's a small hobby but a fun one. Make mine Marvel and enjoy collecting. Happy Halloween.